depression is a demon. I'm, I'm sorry to be spiritual now, but it's a demon that <laughs> if you don't fight, it will end up taking your life, whether you like it or not. Viewers, depression. Hello, it's yet another Wednesday and I'm beautifully seated here with one wonderful personality in Cape Coast. And before I will introduce my guest, I have a little bit of quotes for you. We try to hide our feelings, but we forget that our eyes speak. We try to hide our feelings, but we forget that our eyes speak. It is trying to send you to the topic for today before i introduce my guest we'll go for a little break we'll be back today like i said i have one beautiful lady with me here by the name mrs adebukola adenye eda the ceo of bubu beats and journalist and the author of unbroken you remember right you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I like the past you remember, right? I know. Yeah, because you've been here. I know. Oh, it's I good know. to be back. I'm good. I'm yeah, good. You're looking so splendid. Aww, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. It's grace. Before we go to our topic today, how, how is your book in the market? I'm oh, broken. my God. Miss Eddie. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That book, I mean, it was timely. It was divine, ordained, I don't know the word to use, but, you know, anytime I meet people that bought the book or that has gotten the book, their testimony is mind-blowing. Wow. The book is doing a lot. Yeah. Wow. It's doing a lot. Do, so. you, do you have any intention of bringing out another one? Oh, yes. I need to write, um, you know, like a, a part two of it. Yeah, people have, I mean, are in, encouraging me to you know, or advising me to write a part two of, you know, Hello. after the, uh, all the storm or whatever, whatever. So how I moved on and how I was able to get my groove back Hello. and all of that. So I'm hoping so to do that. So if you have not gotten your book, I'm Broken, this is the author. You mm -hmm. can get yours so easily when you are in Cape Coast. All right. Today we are talking about depression. Depression, mm. depression in marriage. I know. Depression in marriage. And it's something that has been uh, moving around. It's dancing around people's homes I here know. and there and bringing a whole lot of mess. So if we go straight, what is depression? Well, depression is, is, um, is a topic that you can never sweep under the carpet, yeah. you know. But it's just that a lot of people shy away from it. A lot of people up, a lot of people cover up depression with, um, how would I put it, fake or false lifestyle, you know. So, but depression is common in it's 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 a it's a mental state that affects how you think in a negative way. Affects how you think, how you act, how you talk. You know, it's 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 um it's it's something that people need to hone up to mm. a lot of people live in how would i put it in um i don't know the word to use but it's just that a lot of people are depressed yeah. but they shy away from it like i said or they take it out on another person like maybe their husband or their wives or their children or their colleagues you know so you find that depression is is flying around everywhere but it's 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 hard for somebody to come out and say, "I'm depressed. Please help me." That's where the challenge is. If if if, if I'll get it right, depression is like you getting tired over something, or as maybe something is making you look like you are getting crazy, or no, it's it's an accumulated negative thinking. Okay. You see, the person does didn't just become depressed in a day. It's a process. No. It's, it's, it develops, it grows, mm. you know. The person, let me say, always feel bad about herself or himself, you know. Over time, then it's, the person accepts it mm. as part of 
of the lifestyle of that person. Like, oh, I am not a good person. Oh, people say that I'm a bad person. Or, oh, I'm an introvert. I just want to stay an introvert. You, you find out that um, it's a process. It's just like a child growing up. You know, it's a, a child growing up is shaped and formed by parenting, societal influences, mm -hmm. peer in influences, you know. So there's a lot that make people depressed. Okay. When we look it down to marriage, you know, you, you are dating a man and then when you're dating, it's different from when you're married. I know, right? You know, <laughs> you know <laughs> when you're dating, it's treating you nice, like a queen, everything, blah, blah. But when you are now married, it's a different ball game. So a lot of people can't cope with the switch. Okay. Yeah, so they get depressed. So ah, is that, this that is where the depression, depression is creeps in slowly. Okay. Especially when now the partner, whether the husband or the wife, is not realizing that, okay, I'm making this person feel worse or bad. You know, so the, the other party become depressed. Like, is this the same person I married? Oh, or the person pretended. Is this uh, is this person feels like a stranger? You know, so dep depression can attack in so many ways. So, you know. so how can one recognize the symptoms in himself or herself? Then recognizing the symptoms in the partner also. Okay, so see when it comes to the um, symptoms, you 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 find out that you're probably withdrawn okay. a lot to yourself you you like to overthink things you know and you feel that everything is okay some people it could be that they will start sleeping a lot you see rather than talk to people rather than socialize with people they will sleep, they will rather sleep it away mm. or go hang out with friends and drink it away depression can make you fall into different um um uh, stages of life some people get depressed and they become uh, i mean they get addicted to so many things okay. like shopping somebody could be depressed but because she, she has no way to express herself she rather goes shopping and just spend and spend and spend and buy irrelevant things some people would rather um, take it out on alcohol so many things some people would rather become abusive and aggressive with their partners or those around them mm -hmm. you know you won't know what they are going through you will know that they are depressed. You understand? So depression, depression and mental inner, um, mental health yeah. or illness, they come together, you know, because you, when the person is depressed, then it starts affecting the person's mental capabilities. Mm. Uh -huh. So depression doesn't work alone. It, it comes with the mental aspect of it. It's a whole lot of, it's broad, you know. So, I mean, that's why it is, it is always good that when something is bothering you, you voice out. You voice out. Open communication. Yeah. Don't be afraid to, 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 to express yourself because when you bottle everything up inside of you, one day it's going to explode. And that is being depressed. When it explodes that very moment, then they think of suicide. Some will think of suicide. Some that, those that are not thinking of suicide will think of making life miserable for those around them before you even voice out you, you need to uh, know that the person you are going to voice out to is um, someone who is going to accommodate it and also help you because we don't have loyal people out there you know? i know right mm -hmm. and that's why i mean that's when professional um aspect of it comes out if you feel you're afraid of your partner then it's better you seek professional uh counsel the therapies the counselors and you know what have you mental doctors mm -hmm. you know just seek professional help this is what i am going through these are the thoughts that are coming into my head how can you help me you know you, you might they, they might help you in the way you approach your partner because somebody that is going through domestic violence mm -hmm. that is being punched and beaten at home and is already afraid of the husband how do you expect that person to call the husband and say us be a uh hair, -huh. you understand? So after taking those therapy, you come back home, you meet the same person. That's it. it, it, it the, I mean, the, 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 if professionals, they have a way of helping you mm -hmm. to bring in your partner. If you can't do it, it's a matter of you dropping the person's contact mm -hmm. and all of that and you know or, or, or come to the professional well, that's, 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 that's. <laughs> i know right you know, you know when it, when depression sets in how how can one maintain the intimacy the relationship because we are talking about depression and marriage 
Oh, there is no way you can maintain it. Oh. If you are really? depressed, really? there is no way you can maintain a relationship with your partner because you are both living two different lives. Mm -hmm. One is depressed. One is thinking everything is normal and is living his or her life. But, but I think is... that is where one has to be strong for the other. First, the person... But intimacy the, issue. What, what if the person is having that outside? No, that that's what I'm saying. Like, we need to get healed. Mm -hmm. The person needs to heal first. There must have been a communication, a dialogue, mm -hmm. for you to say you want to be intimate with somebody that is probably making you depressed, mm -hmm. or a situation that is making you depressed. I can't be staying with my husband now, and I'm depressed because of his way of life, his attitude, and the way he treats me, and then you expect me to be intimate with him. There's no way the intimacy will happen. Fine, they may do what husband and wives do, but you see that there's no communication like, Gisting with each other, hanging out with each other, mm -hmm. all of those things will be absent. <laughs> yeah, and they might be living under the same roof. Oh. But because of depression, there's this huge gap between them. Both are living their separate life, but when it's time to, you know, they come together, when it's time to do uh, Adam and Eve uh, play, <laughs> they come together. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> they come together, satisfy each other, and they are gone. And that is very dangerous because one day, Miss Ade, <laughs> what did I say? Is Adam and Eve? Adam and Eve, no. Uh, who gave you that name? <laughs> <laughs> Let me use Bible reference. <laughs> and I want to do Adam and Eve uh, play. That I used to call it mom and dad's play, Anna. Okay, okay. So they will come together, do what they need to do because. Sometimes people might be having issues with their marriage, but you see that they don't want to go outside okay. and be adulterous and all of that. They will still want to maintain that, but that's what it is. The husband and wife will be having that kind of intimacy, but after that time, no, you understand, no attachment, no emotions. It could be because of depression. It could be because of mental um, health situation. It could be because of a lot of things. But because we are talking about depression, you, depression is very dangerous. When it comes like this, it's, it's walking back to my next question. It means that communication will be weak. Yes, they will have nothing to talk about. The person would rather probably even prefer to talk to a stranger than a partner then if kids are involved means that there's going to be um a kind of confusion in the house really yeah you can, that. you can say that you can say that you can say that there will be confusion yeah really because so if they are children if the children are observant and intelligent they will notice that everything is not so smooth between mom and dad you know like oh but they will know that their mom and dad they are together but Definitely, they, especially except if they are young. Mm. But maybe you have teenagers or about to be teenagers and they are very intelligent. They will notice that both of you are just living under the same roof, but you are not living as husband and wife. Depression is something that is very huge. If you want to talk about depression today, you might even end up the next day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, if uh, you have depression, a depressed wife or husband, please, you need to stay strong for this person and help him psychologically and a, a bit sometimes even your work can even give you depression yeah yes, you can of be course. depressed through yes. your workload and maybe finding money to do certain things but I, I want to come in there when you were saying that when you have a, um, a wife that is depressed or a, i mean your husband, husband is depressed and i mean you should be there for that person mm -hmm. that's if the person has even noticed that the person is depressed or well, cares well, that the person is depressed and I want to be there for what if the person doesn't care like you can be depressed all you want I don't give a damn <laughs> that is why I'm going into marriage you should, you should marry somebody who's your friend mm. somebody who, who really cares Miss no. mm. Miss <laughs> at some point eh, at some point of the journey one of them will get out to go and be or something and you come back into the car the conversation will not be the same again or something there is, there is disruption I mean I would like distraction disruption whatever you, the word you want to use Miss Ade there is distraction everywhere but you if, need, you like, if, marry, you, if you have if you if you like marry your soulmate let's say ladies we, we marry your like, soulmate where your village people come for that wedding forget it where your village people come for that wedding they forget I'm telling you joke aside you know, like I said some some partner they don't care whether you're depressed or not that's why it's depressed fighting depression first is a personal thing before you you involve others 
And when, when I say personal thing, it's first you being, you accepting that you are depressed. Some people live in denial. They are depressed, but they don't want to accept that they are depressed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So if you don't want to help yourself, how will others help you? And as God help that person to now, the, the, the partner is a selfish person. He doesn't care because all he wants is even, or all she wants is for you to be out of their lives. So you have to stay in there, fight for yourself first. Fight for your mental health first by getting over the depression. Then, the best, then those around you, if they care, will now say, okay, since we know that you've gone through this or you are going through this, let's help you to make life more meaningful mm -hmm. and a better place to live in. Yeah. Do you understand? So if you are giving ad advice that they should be there for their partner and all of that, what if it's, you don't know some people are very selfish when it comes to emotions. Do you know some people could be very selfish? Know, right? It's all about themselves. <laughs> God help you, you don't have such partner. Mm -hmm. It's all about themselves. You know, and their partner is depressed, but because it's all about themselves, they don't care. You know, so depression must be first a personal fight. Speak. If you can't talk to your partner or a close associate, move outside of the box, out of the family. Confide in somebody you know is mature enough to deal with the situation. Keep it um, secret to some extent. Not you share it with the person. The person starts uh, broadcasting mm -hmm. your situation all around. You see, so when you find somebody confident that you can talk to, talk to that person. That's the first process that you open up to the person who I'm going through this. Mm. This is what how I feel right now. I feel that life doesn't make a meaning anymore. Can I? I, I mean, I feel like handing it. All of, but I can't even share it with my husband. It's like that. See, the, the husband might not even be, be treating the woman bad, but the person finds it hard to just open up. To the, with, I mean, to the husband or to the wife. They'd rather do it to, with somebody else. Yeah. You know? A safe place that they feel it's safe. You know? So, it's first of all a personal fight. Look at this dancer in the U.S. I've forgotten his name. Um, Ellen DeGeneres, yeah? yeah? The DJ also, yeah. Everybody thought he was happy. And yeah, I think the one who... Who committed yeah. suicide. Yeah. We don't know. Up to today, now, we, I don't even think he left a note. Or did he? I'm not, sure. I, I'm not sure, but he committed suicide. Even hours before he committed the suicide, it was with a, he just did a video with a wife, like a live video or something. They were dancing together, mm, and hours later, that. they said they announced that he committed. Um, they found him in a suicidal position. That's it. He could whatever it is that was bothering him, he could not even open up to his wife. Do you understand? Couldn't open up with his wife. And the picture they painted to the world is that they are happy couple, isn't it? They are together I'm in the sure, video. I'm sure, I'm sure, we are not talking about that, but I'm sure he knows what he's doing. That is why he, he went to have that last dance with the wife. Or else they would have blamed the wife that she caused it. Okay? Mm. And that's how I'm seeing the picture. Yeah, but I'm just trying to tell you that mm -hmm. even when couples are not having issues, yeah. like they are close, buddy, buddy, sometimes it's hard for either one of them to open, open up, up when they are depressed to each other. I'm telling you. I'm going to bring you back to where you're answering, telling us to go somewhere. Do we have any resources well, that can help couples that are depressed? Of course. That's why we have the psychologist. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go to a psychologist to talk. They will help you break everything down because it's, it's their job. Yeah. You know, they know all, all about um, personal and um, individual behaviors. You know, we have different kind of behaviors, in men menacony, all these kind of things. They'll break it down for you and all of that and make you realize where your stand is. Yeah. So that from there, you will know what you're fighting. Depression is a demon. I'm, I'm sorry to be spiritual now, but it's a demon that <laughs> if you don't fight, it will end up taking your life, whether you like it or not. Viewers, depression is a demon. Don't let demons yeah. come to your house. We'll go for a short commercial break. When we are back, we'll continue. Today we are talking about depression. Follow us for more on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. You can also follow me as well, Miss Eddie Blinks on Facebook. Um, viewers, we are talking about depression. As we are going for the break, she said, depression is a demon. Don't allow that demon in your house. Are you facing that demon in your house? Depression, I say. How did you solve it? Or are you about solving it? Who are you solving it with? 
or who is helping you. Um, Mr. Day will continue. Yes, and yes. Um, as we were about saying before uh, we left, you said it's a demon. Mm. So how do you face these things or how do we feel depression in our marriage? Mm. Okay, so um, if we narrow it down to depression in marriages, okay, um, depression in marriages, yeah, um, they are caused by different factors, a variety of factors, and it could be complex, it could be interrelated, it could be uh, genetics, it could be um, so, um, societal influence, just name it, you know. So one has to be careful in marriages because before you, it's a thin line between being happy and depressed in marriage. The very thin life, just thin line, just like life and death. One minute, both of you are happy, and then the next minute, one or both of you are depressed because of certain things or situations, you know. So one, one of the factors that causes depression in marriage is unresolved conflict. You know, both of you have conflict, and you, you, you find it hard to forgive each other. You find it hard to talk about it, to open up to each other and say, okay, this is what is causing conflict between us. How can we resolve it? How can we avoid being, I mean, further conflict in this marriage? You shy away from it, or you both avoid addressing that issue. Before you know it, one of you or two, both of you, will fall into depression. That is why they said it's not good for you to sleep over any anger. Yes, I mean, Frequent arguments, mm -hmm. frequent arguments, you and your partner can't even have a straight conversation. It's one argument to the other. You never have a resolved, balanced conversation mm -hmm. or discussion. It's always, it results in conflict or mm -hmm. bas boost, whatever you, <laughs> you want to call it, you know. That's one of, the, I mean, the symptoms of um, depression in marriage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, it's not a, it's not a. Um, as bad of it at all. You must find one of you, two wrongs don't make a right. Yes. As a woman, especially, you must learn to to be um, submissive at some point. Okay? Sometimes, even my husband is wrong, but I'll just allow him to be wrong in his wrong so that there can be peace. The, the, the parents, <laughs> it gets to a time, one needs to be the fool. Of course. The other you should know, be the wife. I'll yes. just let some it men, Some men find it so difficult to say, I'm sorry. Yes, 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 it's true. It depends. That one, if we talk about it, it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. See, if a man or a woman find it hard to say sorry to his or her partner, it's as a result of parenting. Mm -hmm. You understand? They, they either they grew up saying that their parents don't apologize. Mm -hmm. So they feel it's normal. I apologize to my kids. I don't say because I'm a mother. When they talk to me sometimes, they make me realize that I've hurt them part their ego or something. I apologize and say, okay, I'm sorry. You understand? And you see that that calmness in their face, like, okay, yes, mommy apologize. You know, but I'm also training them as well so that so when so they grow up yeah. and somebody make them realize that mm -hmm. you've, you've hurt me, they should, they won't hesitate to say sorry. Mm -hmm. Because then some mommy apologize well, every time. ended up telling me that uh, I'll go to Satan because it's only people who do wrong things that go to Satan. <laughs> you go to Satan. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You know, so moving on, lack of support as well okay. also causes depression. I mean, maybe I'm a career woman, you know, and my, my job requires or my career requires me being in the studio almost every now and then, traveling and all of that. But I don't have a supportive husband. When I'm gone, my children are there on the streets, you know, living their wayward lives, no supportive father. Or those. You will go depressed. When you come on the show, you will smile. Hi, I'm Miss Eddie. Welcome to the couch. But back in your head, you're thinking, hey, this children are not eating, you know, oh my God. Ah, it's them PMO, you know. <laughs> ah, they have this children eating dinner. You will be depressed. Mm -hmm. But when you come on set, you will fake you will fake the smile and everything. And that's one thing about being in the in 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 in, in uh how like in the forefront on the stage. No matter how sad or happy you are, when you come on air. You, you have to smile, you have to be happy for your audience, whether you are sad, you know, but the person is depressed. That's why, that's why when we hear of the death, you'll be wondering, oh, oh, but he was on radio last night, he was happy, he was laughing, but he was depressed. He was, I mean, especially celebrities. Oh my God. Do you know how many celebrities are depressed right now as we are talking? But they will never show it because 
they when it comes to their job they have to do it but once they are upset they are depressed again you know so we need to i mean producers uh, script writers ceos they need to invest in mental health with their workers at all i mean artist management and everything whether they are they see the sign or not let your artist as a manager just even go for a mental checkup let your own air personalities just go for a mental checkup let you and your wife just say only oh, just book us a session let's just, just go and say psychologist or a therapist let's just go you know just like you go for your medical checkup go for check mental checkup as well you know even i'm talking to myself because i don't even think i've done that <laughs> so far we are not in our portrayal how do you call this it's our everyday life two months there we will go to work one back go to work one back in nigeria we must say that we should say that to you in your language obodo you go obodo you go all right so you are wrapping up the west and but one more thing also let me just quickly add this thank you then oh my god i mean i should have end for i should have added that that should have been number one <laughs> infidelity infidelity is is a trigger to depression especially when a woman is loyal and committed to a relationship and she's all like i can't even if my husband is doing it i won't go out yeah, there are some women like that you know because some because some women will do you dirty you step out or step out <laughs> that kind of woman cannot be depressed there was something in the in, in the news uh, uh, i think i heard it too the the woman was like um the husband is not the intimacy is not fancy so she find it fancy out there so hey. right now she wants to tell the husband we should do the relationship or the marriage open. Open really? Open, open marriage. Yeah. Wait, what? Does any Af- I mean African men do they do that? Hello, African men, please you do open marriage. I wish. I wish they. I, I'm looking for one though in case. I think I'm also looking for one. Okay, listen. <laughs> I'm not, I left the WhatsApp group, I beg. I left the WhatsApp group. Yeah, that's joking, right? <laughs> you know, infidelity is the number one trigger in a marriage for depression. Yeah. Because, I mean, no. Do you know, a lot of women would believe that what is good for the group is good for, you know, so their husband step out, they step out as well. Uh-huh. Those kind of women can never be depressed. Mm-hmm. I have God, no, go best. <laughs> you know, so, but one thing is that when you find a woman that is emotional, someone like me, I'm so emotional. I all of that, you know, you remember those days, we were giving each other flowers, and you'd be like, oh no. So, which month were you born? January. Oh, I, I thought this was February. February, I'm We are close now, mm-hmm. January, February. That's so why emotional like that. You know, so somebody like me, I don't believe in two wrongs being the right. My husband can't be, I'm just using that as an example, my husband can't be all out there, we talk be all out there, no way. Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't speak well of a woman, no matter how your husband is. I'm talking to you, no matter man or men will be men. I'm not justifying their actions. I am not saying what they do when it comes to that aspect is right. But as a woman, keep yourself to yourself. First and foremost, keep I respect me, I, re, I respect my nakedness. So I am telling you, I always tell people that I respect my nakedness a lot. So I can't just stand it. That one man that has been seeing it for over 15 years, he pays me like that, like when I jump in Google talk. He pays me like that, you understand? Because that's where your respect is as a woman. I'm telling you, once a man sees your nakedness, that's it. That is it. Because that's why we even have issues in marriage. When they were chasing us, when they've not jumped the tree, did they disrespect you? Hey, you cough, they bring water. Now if you cough, they will just look at you like, are you coughing? Don't you know where the water is? Madam, that's not where I water. They are still everything finished. They are still finished now, so what can we do? So you can imagine you going out there to complicate your life. If you do that, you just be complicating your life, you understand? But that's when a lot of women feel depressed because they can also do it to paint the man back so that he will know where the, the shoe is pinching. They can't do it. So in that aspect, they fall into depression. Yes, as a woman. Because you know that you can. When a man does it, the society will hype him like, hey, you're giving the boss. But when a woman does it, they will say you are a prostitute. You are even going to chase that. You know, the society, everybody will chastise you. So definitely you will feel depressed. So here, they can now seek help for definitely. Their mental health. And the first thing is to even have a conversation. Have a conversation with your husband. Or guys, you know, there's something you know, that you I'm doing. You know guess, you know that they are so bossy. No, 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 some, 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 some may listen, but some, we have stubborn ones. 
See, let me tell you one thing. Sometimes it's not the man's fault. You married your wife, needs, gorgeous, every time she's looking tush. Then she marries and she's starting rapper everywhere. She's married, she doesn't make her hair. She's married because one key, she's, her body is all over the place. The man will fall depressed. And so men will overcome depression in that aspect by going to look after, going after fine girls. Why can't the man also say, because uh, you know, men, men, sometimes some of them, a lot of women, baby, I want you to be like this, I want you to be yes. like this. Yes. Yes. See, men have stopped saying some of those things because, because your women are out there. No, one, that, that's part of it, but, but or secondly, because the, some women take offense and be like, did you marry me this way? Did you meet me this way? I said, I didn't bring the tummy for my father's ass. La, 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 la. You see? So if you are in that kind of situation that you find out that your husband is being, uh, you know, playful outside, all you need to do is have a conversation. Try that first. Sweetheart, what did I do? Or what is going on between us? I, I see that you're not, you're not fancying me again. Like you are not attracted to me again. Is there something that I'm doing? You want me to stop? Or is there something you want me to start doing so that I can look more, I can be what I used to be to you? So you could just break that thing growing up between the two of you at that moment. Because it might just tell you, oh, I don't like the way you wear your lipstick. Oh, I don't like the way you are looking right now or the way you dress or the way you talk you know, and all of that. Mm. So your husband could require that maybe he wants you to brush at night. Majority of us in Africa, we don't brush before we go to bed. No, Uncle, we even eat crayfish and go to bed like that. Mm. And when your husband comes to you in the night and you say, honey, the whole place, <laughs> scatter. <laughs> Because we can go on and on and on and on and on because, like I said, depression is very huge mm -hmm. and it's affecting most marriages now. So, after these things have set in in the marriage, yeah. we all have seen our flaws and know that we are doing certain things to depress each other. How can you strengthen the relationship of the marriage when it's set in? When it's set in, like yeah. I said, like I was saying, or rather, like I was saying, rather. The first thing is to, is to have a conversation, have a dialogue, talk to each other, open communication. Be real. Don't lie to each other. You understand? Don't lie to If you lie to each other, then <laughs> what will you do with, that, with the outsiders? You understand? It's just the two of you now. You know, there's always a, a say that when you are when you're going to get married, and people are advising you that, oh, marry this or don't marry this one. You always tell them, that, but I'm the person that will live with the person. You ought to even be there. So I have to choose based on my own satisfaction. So it's the two of you now. Be real. Open up to each other. Don't lie. Some people will lie while they're in the relationship. And when they get married, they're still lying to each other. <laughs> oh, Abbasima. <laughs> Aden. Do you, understand? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Say that Aden in Nigeria. Aden. <laughs> You know, do you understand what I'm saying? They yeah. fit that life. They fit, you know, most of most of us will pretend yeah. in relationship. Yes. You understand? It's when we get married, our real colors so, come, out. come out. So now that you both know that you have signed the contract for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, me and you we day here, we know they go anywhere. We live here. Together. You understand? So open <laughs> up to each other. Open up. If you don't open up, there is no way you can resolve the issue. Right. Because there is a there is you are lying to each other. Mr. Day, uh, it's been wonderful having you here. Uh, like I said, we can have this conversation and even end up tomorrow, tomorrow. morning and no one gets tired. Uh -huh. Can you give <laughs> us your last words, your few words to mm. our viewers? Okay, so I'll say that um, be open in your relationship, okay? Be open, be, be um, sensitive to each other's emotions. Be sensitive, be sensitive. Okay, if you are sensitive enough, it's easy for you to realize when your your partner is slowly falling into depression. Don't be selfish with your feelings, with your emotions, with your life ambitions, with your goals in life that you neglect your partner to the extent that the person fall, I mean, get depressed and then even commit suicide before you realize that, oh, so something was actually happening around this person. You understand? And also, don't always believe that all is well. Because the person is happy and smiling with you and buying yeah. you gifts, doesn't mean that he or she is happy. Once in a while, like I said, I'll still say it, sit down and talk. Leave the kids with grandma or trusted person who 
I wanted to say Hong Kuna, and I realized that there are some Hong Kuns. Hong Kuns, and I realized there are some Hong Kuns, and I'm quote Hong Kuns. Now, please, I don't know any aunties. The aunties. Even aunties, don't, I beg you, don't, I beg you, or uh, compound grandpa or grandma, me for sure. Don't leave. Uh, if it's not your biological grandma or grandpa, take your kids along, put them in the kids' session <laughs> while you have a good time with your wife. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. And talk. Just talk. You know, there's this kind of have mind. a vacation. Yeah, Once there's this friend of mine, okay? She's a bank manager in Nigeria. The husband is a bank manager, so you can imagine. Mm. They are she crazily bu busy. They come back home in the night and all of that. But I realized that, you know, in the night when I go out to be, I mean, go to use, use the washroom or maybe I go to the toilet, I mean, kitchen to take water, I see both of them at the dining table in the night. They're having a conversation. Yeah, I'm telling you, the two of them are just on the dining table just talking. Because if they don't do that, before you know, they'll grow apart. These are people who understand each other. Bank managers, both of them. They understand There is each no other. time. They come on maybe night. They, if the account doesn't close, they can't close. Both of them, do you understand? So, but I noticed that every night, Miss Eddie, the two of them are at the dining. Two of them just having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, it's very paramount that you have a conversation with your partner. You can share your... Um... Your Facebook handles. And oh, handles. thank you. Beats, so maybe much. some people. Oh yeah, to... I do beads. I do customized beads. Yeah. You know, you can send to your loved ones abroad, even here, birthdays and all of that. Customized beads. I'm an author as well. My second book is in the pipeline. When it comes out, I'll let me say you know. You can follow me on uh, Facebook at Debukola Adeneye Eda. That's it. You know, and then YouTube Triumphant Woman. I'm going to host Miss Eddie one day. Triumphant Woman on YouTube and on Instagram is Explore with Bookie. All right. So same on X. So just follow me and then we'll, we'll, we'll take it up from there. No, yes. Right. Um, viewers, today's topic was a bit interesting. It is about depression. Depression makes you want to hide your feelings. And, you know, mental health is less dramatic than physical pain. So if you are facing these things, please... Ask for help. Talk to your partner. Don't go outside and be seeking help. Your partner should be your friend. You marry that partner for a reason. So let that reason show depression is really deadly. Don't let it catch you. If you have any question, any contribution, you can share with us on our YouTube page, Coffee Jersey TV, uh, Facebook, Coffee Jersey TV, or my own page, Miss Eddie Blinks. You can share with us and uh, we'll love it. Miss Ade. Yes, yes, and I'll also say Coffee Jesse. Yeah. Is it coffee or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Yes. Let me pronounce it Friday the morning. Morning. Coffee Jesse. Yeah. Coffee Jesse <laughs> TV. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, the CEO, the cameraman, the makeup artist. <laughs> Everybody, I love you. It's good to be back and I'll be back again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this brings us to the end of the show and I'll miss Eddie from Coffee Jersey TV. Next time, we'll meet again on the couch. Bye.